So we have one here about escape lanes. Okay, escape lanes are when the lorries brakes fail and um, they need somewhere to go to get them off the road to stop them being a, a um, hazard to other traffic. It's the, usually at the end of a long hill. Um, don't often need to be used with modern lorries, luckily, but they still exist on our roads. They're still quite an important safety feature. Uh, it tells you that the escape lanes are filled with sand and sometimes slope upwards. Explain how these escape lanes reduce the braking force by the vehicle when the driver takes an emergency stop. See, it's two marks. Well, that's a clue. There's going to be two separate points, separate parts of the question, two uh, parts in this um, answer. Filled with sand is first part, slope upwards is one. So why are they filled with sand? Sand increases the friction between the tyres and the road, or you know you get friction between the tyres and the sand, easy peasy. And why uphill? Uh, the going uphill uses kinetic energy, or even just going uphill slows the lorry down. It was okay actually. I prefer the answers, and there were a few people who gave me this answer. I prefer the answer. Go, in going uphill, the lorry does work. Against gravity. Okay, that's why the energy is dissipated more rapidly because it's got another force to contend with, another force which is slowing it down. Okay, risks and benefits of wearing seat belts. And this is the nuisance of this question. And for the wider community, what on earth does that mean, OCR? Well, I think you need to have a little think before you print your tests because that is a confusing statement to make. Write about the risks and benefits of wearing seat belts. So, Firstly, let's write a risk. We've already talked about this. Risk, well, no, we haven't talked about risk, we've talked about the benefits. A risk, the obvious one, would be like bruising, uh, like skin burns, um, or, you know, I, my, my grandmother had an accident in a car and she's got, um, it broke some of her ribs and caused her to have COPD for the rest of her life. Uh, so she's had difficult, difficulty breathing. So, there you go, you can have these things. But the most common risk was it's difficult to escape after a crash. You know, some people talked about it's difficult for the emergency services to get you out after a crash or being submerged in water. That's probably the most obvious one. Remember, if you do ever go in a river, Open your windows slowly and get out when you're ready. Do not open them all at once. Benefits. Obvious benefit is that it's going to reduce injuries. <laughs> that was good enough. Uh, which, again, from the last one. Why is it going to reduce injuries? Uh, lower stopping force come to a halt over a longer time, longer distance, anything from the previous question. Won't hit the windshield is fine, but also won't be thrown out of the car. And then lastly, risk, no, uh, <laughs> wider community. It's funny, but we're right, let's think, let's think family. Well, okay, so there's, you know, uh, family members aren't hurt. Or caused grief. I think pedestrians are at less risk. Um, and also, lastly, there's you're less likely to see horrific accidents. Like 
uh, traumatic experiences. Okay, thanks a lot for listening to this playlist. I hope this feedback helped.